How do you know where you're going? If you were going somewhere, you might type the name of the place or address into the computer to get a map. You might call someone on the phone. What if there were no phones? What if there were no computers? Then, how would you know where you were going? Dr. Lange explains how people found their way. He says, our ancestors were observant. They'd notice huge rocks at the end of the first day. If it was an eight-day journey, they would know they were one-eighth of the way home. But wait, do you think markers will be exactly spread out on the trail? I don't think that will happen. Probably, landmarks will be different distances apart. It might take four days to get to the woods. Why not think of it as one half? Four out of eight days equals one half. Say you have a horse. To ride from where you are camped to the river takes 12 days. On day one of your journey, you see three rocks. After four days, you see a small lake. After six days, you see a huge clump of bushes. You know that six twelfths is the same as one half. Observe, you're halfway there. After ten days, you see a bigger lake with trees around it. Ten twelfths means you are getting close. You are almost there. Or you might look at it like this. After four days, you are one third of the way to the river. Four twelfths equals one third. After six days, you are halfway to the river. Six twelfths equals one half. After ten days, you are five-sixths of the way to the river. Ten-twelfths equals five-sixths. By understanding fractions, you're able to know where you are going. No computer required. If you are not sure why one-third equals four-twelfths, or ten-twelfths equals five-sixths, you'll want to read the pages on equivalent fractions.